from the local station. News 4 Jax starts now. 48 hours after Election Day and these five states have not yet been officially called. Ballots are still being counted in the battlegrounds of Nevada, Pennsylvania, North Carolina and Georgia, as well as in Alaska, which is expected to go to President Trump. In the past 30 minutes, Pennsylvania's Secretary of State said ballots are still being counted, but told Americans to, quote, stay tuned. If Joe Biden captures the state or any of the other big three, he would win the presidency. While his campaign continues expressing confidence, President Trump is also claiming voter fraud and state election fraud, writing on Twitter that his campaign will legally challenge all of the recent Biden claimed states. President Trump said he will speak from the White House at 6.30 this evening. Biden spoke about 90 minutes ago, saying when the last votes are counted, he is certain he will be the next president. I ask everyone to stay calm, all the people to stay calm. The process is working. The count is being completed. And uh, we'll know very soon. Here's a breakdown of who is leading in each of the key states and by how many votes. In Georgia, President Trump's lead has narrowed to about 9,500 votes. In Nevada, Biden is ahead by just over 11,400. President Trump is also leading in North Carolina and Pennsylvania by wider margins. Protests and rallies are springing up around the country as the ballot counting continues, including in Atlanta, where News 4 Jacks reporter Vic Bicalucci has been on the ground since yesterday. He's joining us live from outside the State Farm Arena, where part of the painstaking process is being carried out. Vic, you showed us at 5 o'clock there are demonstrators on both sides. We can see them behind you. Are these people getting along all right? That's a great question, Tom, and the answer is not really. For the most part, things are peaceful and they're having, you know, honest conversations about each side, why they believe either Trump or Biden should be the next president. Also talking about their opinions on this voting process, but there certainly have been some loud arguments that have been less than friendly. So to the right, you're gonna see people that are saying count every vote. They were part of a bus train that got thousands upon thousands of people to the polls here. And then you also see a, a lot of people out here supporting President Trump saying that he needs four more years in office. A lot of them are also making claims that there is corruption, not just here in the Georgia election system, but also all across the country. This is how communism war starts. Tensions are high outside the State Farm Arena in Atlanta. Stop the cheat. Trump supporters gathering together, alleging corruption, yelling, stop the cheat. <laughs> Biden supporters driving by, chanting, count every vote. Inside, we saw election workers sort, scan, and tally the final absentee ballots in Fulton County. It's a similar scene across the state, as several counties remain undecided. These are people who are not involved in voter fraud. These people are not involved in voter suppression. I'm telling you, they're doing their jobs every day. It is hard. Georgia's most populous county, Fulton, counted more than 200,000 mail-in ballots since Tuesday night. As press from around the world, as well as Republican and Democratic representatives, watched closely. Fast is great, and we appreciate fast. We more appreciate accuracy. Savannah's Chatham County lagging behind with the most uncounted votes, enough to tip the scales for Trump or Biden. High stakes that could determine who wins the presidency. And tonight a lot of people are still out here. They are watching the numbers very closely. Some patient, some very anxious to see what happens next. But out here, again, you have people from both sides. And for the most part, they are having peaceful yet spirited demonstrations for each side, for each candidate, and for how they believe this election should be handled on yet another night where we don't know who will win the presidency. We're live in Metro Atlanta. I'm Vic Michalucci, Channel 4, the local station. Vic, you've covered other street demonstrations, which can be hazardous work at times for reporters. Do you and your photographer, Matt Kinsick, feel safe there? 
You know, we're trying our best, and what we're doing is we're possessing our, uh, putting ourselves strategically. So we have Atlanta police officers here. They're in the street. They're around the corner, and they're keeping a close eye. And I can tell you, from the uniformed officers we see, there's also people keeping watch from far away. But something I want to point out here is we are in the state of Georgia, Tom, and it's open carry, meaning that these demonstrators are allowed to carry guns out here in public and they don't have to be concealed. I have seen at least three people do that right here. I spoke with some of the officers and they say, yes, that's a challenge. That's why their head is on a swivel. So is ours as journalists, because there are people here with guns. So far it has been peaceful, but certainly everybody keeping an eye out for safety. Vic, we know you and Matt will take care of yourselves and of each other. Thank you.